Hi, I'm Alexis with the Plant Protection Division at the Georgia Department of Agriculture. And today, I'm going to teach you how to make your own yellow-legged hornet traps at home. By participating in our program, you can help find new detections of the hornet and also help stop the hornet spread. First, we'll need to gather all of our materials. First, you'll need to find a jug on the larger side, a two liter bottle, or a gallon jug. You'll also need a box cutter, a permanent marker, string or twine, an assortment of measuring cups, grape juice, brown sugar, a strainer, and water. Now that you've gathered all of your materials, you can start to assemble your trap. Take your jug or bottle and your permanent marker. You're gonna first, you're gonna focus on the top one third of the bottle and you're gonna wanna make a large uppercase H on the bottle like this. Continue to make those H's on three sides of the bottle, leaving one side blank. You're gonna to wanna to take your box cutter and cut along those lines that you drew with the permanent marker. Cut along all the lines on all three sides of the bottle. Now, you're gonna to wanna to take and push the top tab on each of those openings up and pull the bottom tab out. This will create a landing spot for the hornet to land on. Continue to do that, pushing the top tab in and the bottom tab out. Now that you've created all of your openings, we can assemble our bait solution. You'll first need to measure out a half a cup of brown sugar. Add that to a bigger measuring cup. Now take one cup of grape juice and add that in with the brown sugar. Mix that together. And now we can add our bait solution to our trap. When you go to pour your solution into your trap, you wanna be sure that you pour on the side that doesn't have the opening. This will ensure that you don't spill the bait solution on yourself. Now that we have our solution in our trap, we'll put the lid back on the trap. Next, you'll need to measure out at least three to six feet of twine or string. Take your twine or string and tie it around the top of your bottle. Once you've tied it around the top of the bottle, you're ready to hang your trap outside. Now that we've assembled and baited our trap, it's time to hang our trap in a tree. Be sure to pick a tree that you have easy and regular access to. Be sure to pick a sturdy limb to hang your trap in the tree. Secure your trap to the limb and make sure that you face the trap with no opening to the inside of the tree. This way, the other three openings on the trap will be easily accessible for the hornets. Now that it's been a week, it's time to check our trap. Take your trap down from the tree. You're gonna wanna take the lid off of the trap and take your strainer. And you're wanna, going to want to be sure to pour on the side that doesn't have the opening. This will be sure that all the contents of the trap make it to the strainer. Now, 
take your water and rinse the contents that you found in the trap. If you suspect to find a yellow-legged hornet, please be sure to report it on our, our reporting page. It can be found on the screen and in the caption of this video. Make sure to rebate your trap and hang it back in the tree and check it weekly. We want to thank you for your participation in our trapping program. Your participation helps to protect honeybees and other pollinators in our state, which affect Georgia's agriculture, our largest industry. Thank you.